What's up guys, I'm just a humble cook. Welcome to my humble cooking channel. Today we're gonna learn how to make patatas bravas. This dish is one of the iconic dishes of Spain that you see in many tapas restaurants in the country. The name comes from patatas meaning potatoes and bravas meaning brave. Brave referring to the spice of the tomato sauce that is traditionally served with the dish. This recipe is from the Boqueria cookbook and I recommend you check this cookbook out if you're interested in high quality Spanish cooking. Link will be in the description below. To start off, we're going to make our two sauces, salsa brava and alioli. For salsa brava, we're going to start off with slicing 7 garlic cloves and half a large white onion. Knife, you're going to want to follow the arch so that all your slices look the same. Slice the onion as thin as you can so that they caramelize much quicker. You're also going to want to open a 28 ounce can of whole tomatoes and break up the tomatoes with your hands. Or use a spoon. I prefer my hands. By the way, this is a Japanese can opener. This is the best can opener you can get. In the pan or a pot, add a third cup of extra virgin olive oil, our garlic slices, and five dried chilies. Stir until the garlic is golden brown. Do not burn this or you will have to start over. Fry the garlic for a few minutes and it'll look like this. This is when it's ready. Once the garlic is golden brown, you're going to add your sliced onions and slowly caramelize them over medium heat. Stir often because if you burn this, again, you're going to have to start all over. Once your onions are caramelized and all fried up, we're going to add our crushed tomatoes. Add a half teaspoon of sugar and a half teaspoon of salt. Give it a nice mix and we're going to cook this for about 30 minutes. Lower your heat and put a lid on it. We want it to cook nice and slow so that it has plenty of time for all the flavors to melt and concentrate without it evaporating too quickly. After about 30 or 40 minutes, it should look like this. Add your tomato mix to your blender and blend it until it's super super smooth. Pour your sauce into a bowl and set that aside. So for our next step, get a wet towel and wrap it into a circle. This is going to ensure our bowl doesn't move around everywhere while we make the alioli. Quickly grate one garlic clove. And in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna add that grated garlic, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, half a teaspoon of sriracha, four teaspoons of white wine vinegar, and one large egg that's at room temperature. Now grab a whisk, and we're gonna start whisking all that together. Once that's all emulsified, we're gonna slowly drizzle three quarter cup of blended oil. Make sure you're constantly whisking. You don't want this to break. I actually ended up adding a quarter cup of more blended oil because I wanted it a little bit thicker. Give it a taste and season it with sea salt. Set that aside and let's move on to the potatoes. Grab about four to five Yukon Gold potatoes and peel them. Slice your potato lengthwise and we're gonna cut these into wedges. After all your potatoes are cut, you're gonna rinse them. Wash the potatoes and change the water at least three times. You're gonna want the water to be completely clear by the end of this process. Now grab a sheet pan with some paper towels and we're gonna dry our potatoes. We want it to be completely dry before we fry them to prevent it from splattering and burning ourselves. Whenever you deep fry anything, always make sure you use a pot that has high edges so that when you start frying, the oil doesn't boil over and cause an oil fire. No one wants an oil fire. So typically, I don't usually fry stuff in olive oil, but traditionally, patatas bravas are fried in olive oil. Put your oil over medium-high heat and drop in the potato. If it immediately sizzles, that's when it's ready. And if it doesn't, pull your potato out and wait a few more seconds. 
If it bubbles like this, it means you're ready to go. Let's drop in the rest of the potatoes. Now while those are frying, you're gonna wanna make sure you move them around often so that they cook and brown evenly. We wanna make sure the potatoes are completely cooked throughout and golden brown on the outside. If you feel the potatoes are browning too quickly, lower the heat, and if the potatoes are overcooking without browning, raise the heat. It should take about 30 minutes of frying. Once your potatoes look like this, get a colander and we're gonna drain the potatoes. After a few seconds, move the potatoes to a mixing bowl. We're gonna to toss our potatoes with half a teaspoon of sweet paprika and half a teaspoon of hot paprika. Don't forget to season your potatoes with some kosher salt. Give it a mix. Now that all our components are done, we're ready to plate. Start off by putting a couple spoons of the salsa brava on the bottom of the plate. Then spread the potatoes around whichever way you like. Spoon a little bit more of the salsa brava on top of the potatoes as well. Then the alioli. Have fun with it, there's no wrong way of plating these. Garnish with chopped chives and some fresh parsley leaves and you're ready to eat. Thank you guys for watching my video, I'll catch you guys in the next one.